Derek, congratulations. You're through to round three. How pleased are you with that performance tonight? Yeah, we're delighted you know, to come away to uh, a championship team and win, uh, to limit them to very few opportunities on target. Uh, with the strike force that they had, with the team that they had playing, uh, it was very pleasing. I thought that uh, you know, the whole group they had here tonight, we had 14 players here tonight that uh, worked extremely hard and uh, you know, delighted for them. The team spirit uh, is excellent. Um, everyone can see that... Um, we didn't have uh, the strongest bench in the world. We had to call up uh, four academy kids. We've got uh, a bit of illness in the squad and uh, injuries, and that's the reason for all the uh, other ones that weren't here tonight, so either illness or injury. How satisfying is it when you work really hard in training and you have a system and a shape and a way that you want to play and it comes off for 95 minutes? Yeah, I mean, I think that you know the way that um, the players have taken to changing the systems as well it has been important but uh, I think their togetherness their understanding of the game has been very good in and out of possession um, when we made the change uh, and Caleb came on and he nicked the ball that's what I was speaking to him about you know the other day that if he can come on nick the ball because he's got undoubted quality to find the pass and he did that and, and Arthur as Arthur does, takes it for a wee run and then you know finishes it very well, as he's done it already this season. But the work rate throughout the team had to be perfect tonight because we're playing against a very good side. I think it's fair to say that you've defended like this in long spells mm. of the season. Is that other end just as important? You might only get one shot on target, but it goes in the net. Yeah, I mean, we've obviously um, not got the biggest squad in the world, right? and that's a problem uh, at this moment in time. I've spoken uh, time and time again the reasons for that and I can't change it uh, but um, what we've got is we've taken in a group of players that um, understand each other, understand systems of play but I've got a willingness to win football matches or uh, defend their area and we've you know, come up against a, two really strong teams in the championship and done really well against them. Can a League Cup run potentially change that landscape if you get a big draw in round three? It certainly could. Um, you know, if, if we can you know, land a big team, then that would be advantageous for me uh, going into the last uh, week of the transfer window. Uh, at this moment in time, um, we're limited to what we can do. We've just been able to take in a little bit more money uh, this week from a sell-on clause from a player, but it's, it's not much, but it, it helps. Uh, so... Um, if we can get a cup run and a big team, uh, that would be really you know, advantageous for me going into the last week. They call it football fortune, I think, cup draws, don't they? Yeah. Do you just have to have your fingers crossed and hope? Yeah, I mean, I was at Plymouth Argyle and we got Liverpool. You know, we drew with Liverpool away and then we took them back to, to Plymouth Argyle. So um, that made us you know, loads of money. We were able to do a lot with it and uh, we'll certainly be able to, to strengthen the squad if we do you know, get a big team. You mentioned the absentees. Mm. Illness-wise, is, is that a bug that's going through? Is it something that's going to be short-term? Yeah, there's different sorts of illnesses in the world nowadays, and uh, so um, you've got to obviously deal with that. Uh, so a bit of that, a bit of other illness uh, uh, going about, and also uh, injuries as well. Inevitable Cole Stockton question, obviously not in the squad today. Is he mm. illness, injury, or something else? Yeah, um, he was declared injured uh, for the game today. What, what's the injury, Derek? He's got a groin injury. Is there anything else to report on that? I know you spoke about it at the weekend. There's been more talk of more interest and potential bids. Yeah, I mean, we, we haven't had any uh, more clubs uh, bid you know, for our player. Um, we've had one cl club increase uh, their bid slightly, which is still derisory. So um, it's not going to happen. You know, I think that um, until a club... Uh, come in with a, a real amount of money um, the deal isn't going to happen before the transfer window closes and uh, you know you, you sign contracts you have to stick by them and uh, until you know a club uh, says otherwise if somebody did come up with the money that the owners have in mind mm -hmm. how much would that change things for you in terms of being able to recruit is that at a threshold where it would make a major difference yeah it would help us um, we would obviously get the wage uh, for the player uh, we would also get the, the transfer fee as well what money I would get back from that, uh, we're not quite sure as yet, but um, we can't talk about it because we haven't had a, a bid that, uh, you got to remember, we've got a player that was the second highest goal scorer in the league. And if you look at the figures that I talked about, and they're probably nearly correct because the source is very close to the source. Uh, so um, you'll see that uh, if, if you were any other club, would you accept that deal? You'd be mad to do it. 
is it you use the word derisory mm. does it feel a little bit disrespectful bidding that low an amount of money no because i would do, do exactly the same if i was in anybody um, else's position i would transfer my hand and uh, that's what uh, you do in this world i've done it plenty of times myself and uh, but um i've had to call it uh, a derisory bids put in for one of their players but if you don't try then you you can't uh, see what the other club are thinking and uh, someone tries their hand unfortunately uh, the hard's not been good enough at this moment in time and that's what happens in poker and just immediate term stuff obviously mm. a great victory you've got illness and injury in the camp but what can a league cup run and success in games like this do for your league situation going into a game at the weekend just a few days away yeah i mean mk dons have come off another fabulous win you know against watford but uh, you know from our point of view we've looked really strong uh, and astute and I'm just delighted for the players in the dressing room tonight because um, they're a very, very good group. Uh, I enjoy working with them. I enjoy giving them information. I enjoy seeing them take that information on board. And uh, that makes my life you know, very enjoyable being a football manager. Do you feel like they're improving with every game? Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, I mean they are improving. And uh, that you know, is important as, as the weeks go on. <laughs>